Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will be dealing with fractional knapsack problem. Let's begin with understanding the problem statement with the help of a situation. So, there's a burglar in the town who is trying to rob people out of the cash. He has a knapsack, a bag which has a certain capacity and he wants to put those items in it that holds more value and also that do not exceed the total capacity that the bag can hold. For example, if we have these three items, each having a certain weight and a value, the goal is to select those items that are more valuable and that their sum do not exceed the total capacity that this bag can hold. Here, capital W. No, since we are dealing with fractional knapsack, we can break the items so as to maximize our total value. That is, instead of taking one complete item, we can take half of it, a quarter or any fraction of it. Let's take a more practical example. Here we have three items with weight 10 value 60, weight 20 value 100, weight 30 and value 120. Also, the knapsack can hold at most 50 unit of weight. Now, the thief can take complete items or take fraction of them. If he is made to take the complete of it, it will be a 0-1 knapsack problem. If he is allowed to break the items, it will be a fractional knapsack problem. Let's see what maximum value can be taken in both of the cases. In 0-1 knapsack, we can take B and C. This would give us 20 plus 30, that is 50 units of weight and 100 plus 120, that is 220 unit of value. This combination would give us the best result for 0-1 knapsack. Now let's see what would have happened if we were allowed to break these items. So we can take one complete A, one B, and only two third of C. This would make our weight as 10 units for A, 20 units for B, and 20, that is two third of 30 for C. That is a total of 50 units weight. Now let's see the value that we have picked. It will be 60 for A, 100 for B, and 80 for C. This 80 is 2 by 3rd of the total value of C. The total sum value will be 240. Now, since the problem statement and the goal is clear, let's look at the approach for solving fractional knapsack problem. So here we have a greedy algorithm for this problem. The idea is to calculate the value by weight ratio for each item. Once we have all the ratio, we can sort them in descending order. Now, we will start filling our knapsack one by one. We'll take the item with the highest ratio. If it can be filled in the knapsack, we'll put it into it. And if complete of it cannot be put, we'll break it and put the fraction of it. Let's have a dry run with the same three items. First, we calculate value by weight ratio for all three items. Notice the ratio here. 60 divided by 10 is 6, 100 divided by 20 is 5 and similarly for other. Then we sort it. Here the items are already sorted. 6 being the highest, 5 and then 4. Next, we start putting the item with higher ratio into our knapsack. First, we put A since it has the highest ratio and also its weight is less than capacity of knapsack that is 50. So now, knapsack capacity left is 40 and the value of items in it is 60. Next in turn is item B. Since its weight is less than 40, we put the whole of it into our knapsack. Now, the knapsack capacity left is 
20 and the value of items is 160. Now we have item C. Weight of C is 30 units but our knapsack can hold only 20 units more weight. So what we do is we break C into two parts. We put two third of C into our knapsack and leave one third of it. This will make the total weight of knapsack as 50 unit and since it is full now we can stop our algorithm. The total value that we have taken is 240. This is the implementation of our algorithm which has been taken from Geeks for Geeks. The code inputs a variable w which is the capacity of knapsack, an array of struct type which has weight value information of each item and n which are the number of items. We begin by sorting the item based on value by weight ratio. This sort is STL sort and it takes our comparison function. The CMP function takes two items of struct type, calculate value by weight ratio of both and then return a bool value based on which item out of two has a greater ratio. Once sorted, we loop through all items and keep inserting it into our knapsack until we can't add an item completely. We then see the remaining capacity of our knapsack and add only that fraction of the item. Finally, we break out of the loop and return the total value. Let's now look at the time complexity of this code. The code will run in big O of n log n time, which is because of the sorting function that we have used. Here n are the number of items. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.